Welcome to video 79 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the enemy nav pause script. Okay, so this script is important when the enemy is struck by something, they've lost health. So that was called enemy nav pause and it'll cause them to just pause momentarily in their navigation. That's all it's for. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, type in the variables. Uh, I'll just copy some from another script just to save a few moments. Okay, and we'll also have a private float pause time of one unit. And as for my methods, I'll use the start. I don't believe, I mean, I don't need the start, and I don't think I need update either. I will have a uh, void pause nav mesh agent. And because this method is going to subscribe to the uh, enemy health deduction event, it's going to have an int dummy. It's not actually going to be used or passed in to do anything, but just required so it can subscribe. Okay. Uh, and I'll also have a coroutine. So that is an I enumerator restart nav mesh agent. And that is a yield return new, oops, new, wait for seconds, pause time. Okay. And also, void disable this. And this one's a little different. There's no point disabling the script. It doesn't have an update method. Uh, so that's not going to achieve anything, but what I do need to do is stop all coroutines. So yeah, it's a good idea not to have a coroutine running in your memory when your enemy's uh, dying or this script uh, was pretty much going to get destroyed or something like that. You don't want any more coroutines, otherwise stuff is not going to work properly. Or well, rather, you'll have errors. Okay, so for the set initial references, I probably should establish them. I'll just go copy them from some other uh, script. So let me go to this one. Yep, this is the stuff I need right there. Okay, so just setting the enemy master and the mynavmish agent. Then set initial references. And enemy master dot uh, event enemy die. Disable this. And also enemy master dot event, uh, enemy health, well, deduct health. And that was pause nav mesh agent. There we go. Okay, so coming to the method itself. If my nav mesh agent is not equal to null, then let's pass the first step. If my nav mesh agent dot enabled, my nav mesh agent dot reset path, and enemy master dot is nav paused is equal to true, and start code routine, and the name of that code routine is restart nav mesh agent. And inside of that coroutine, at the end of that, I will say enemy master dot is nav pause is equal to false. Okay, so I'll just scan through that. I don't think there is anything else to do. So just to recap what's happening, if the enemy gets hurt, this method gets called. If the nav mesh agent is well there and it's enabled, then the path gets reset. And uh the boolean is nav pause gets set to true so that way uh, in the original nav pursue script the uh, agent the enemy can no longer chase after the player till this is set back to false and uh, we start the coroutine to do just that and after a second it gets set back to false and if this uh, enemy dies then stop any coroutines that happen to be running in the background just stop them otherwise uh, we may have an error Okay, so I think that's it. It's good. We won't get to see it in action till uh, the end of this uh, chapter, 
But in the meantime, just uh, attach it on. Enemy nav pause. OK. Just hit play. Uh, just to see that no obvious errors come up. Yeah, OK, it looks like it's all fine. And yeah, he's working out just fine. Yep. OK. And yes, as you can tell, I'm just easily amused as well. Okay, alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.